Greetings gun enthusiasts. Today I'm going to examine a new hunting load I found over the weekend. It's made by Fioki. It's 3 inch 20 gauge waterfowl hunting steel. Zinc plated. These have a muzzle velocity of 1500 feet per second. Classic yellow for 20 gauge. Nicely marked shells. Not going to mix those up with lead sixes in your hunting bags. They're kind of pretty. I'm partial to Fiocchi's and Kent's. And I like my homegrown Federals from right here in Minnesota too, but nothing beats an exotic Italian shotgun shell as far as I'm concerned. So let's open one of these up and get a weight and a pellet count because at least in the early days of steel I used to find that a lot of companies would list a weight that was not necessarily accurate and sometimes even the steel shot sizes varied quite a bit now, first of all, those are some pretty steel shot. <laughs> the zinc plating really looks good on these. And, of course, they're brand new. But, uh, I don't think corrosion is going to be a, an issue with this particular load. All right, let's get that cup teared. So we're at zero. And dump in the load of BBs. Now, I'm getting 0.934 of an ounce, which is more like 15 sixteenths of an ounce than 7 eighths of an ounce. That's kind of interesting, might be my scale. I'm going to try to tear it on a flat surface. Pour these back in here for the moment. Make sure I'm getting an accurate reading, because I don't want to cre uh, credit Fiocchi with um, with being generous with their loads. <laughs> Let's try like like this. Okay, sixty two hundred seven ounce. Oops, now I can't see it through the viewfinder, and the reflection is completely destroying that. Okay, that was 6200s. Tear it to zero. Try again. Hmm, same result. Well, for some reason, I'm getting 15 sixteenths of an ounce of steel shot instead of 7 eighths of an ounce. That's fine by me. I guess I'll take the extra sixteenth of an ounce. That's pretty neat, though. All right. Then we're going to count those pellets. Tear that back to zero. Shut her off. Save the battery. And we'll count them. I'll probably cut out a big chunk of this in the middle because... There must be darn near 300 pellets in there. Steel 6 is way about the same as lead 7.5. But I like to do it this way. I'll call out 5 at a time. 5, 10. Okay, I've separated them into groups of 25. And as you can see, there are 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, and one left over. 301 pellets in this steel load. And that is a very nice count, especially on smaller birds such as teal. I decided to open a second shell and weigh the shot load just to make sure I hadn't get in, gotten into a uh, non-representative sample with that first shell. 
but it does indeed look like a 15 16 ounce load of number six steel pellets in these lovely Fiocchi waterfowl hunting 20 gauge loads. I have to admit, I'm happy with the increased weight of the load. Just to make doubly sure, I'm going to weigh two of these that I opened together with their pellets poured back into them. And they make a total of about 2.578 ounces. That's about 2 and 7 16 ounces, including the brass and the plastic and the powder and whatnot. And then I'm going to take two more shells out of the box and see what they weigh together. Exactly the same amount. <laughs> okay. Uh, if anything, they, they weigh slightly more. Um, wow. I don't know what to tell you. I would say these are definitely going to contain 15 sixteenths of an ounce of shot, not 7 eighths of an ounce of shot. That may bring up the pressure, the chamber pressure, a little bit. Um, not sure exactly why these wound up a little on the heavy side. Maybe just this batch. It may be, as I think about it, the other thing that happens with shotgun pellets, they'll use the same cup and shell for a variety of different pellet sizes. Like you might load number twos in this shell, and then you would actually have uh, seven eighths of an ounce. Um, you know what? I can probably demonstrate that to you right now because I have all kinds of different uh, shotgun pellets. Again, from back in my reloading days, I have a variety of different shotgun pellets just lying about. There's heavy stock. There's some steel. Not sure what size these steel BBs, these steel pellets are, but they're probably just eyeballing them. I'd say they're, I'd say they're BBs. They're plated anyway. They're, I mean, they're uh, copper plated or or copper nickel. I believe these are Winchesters. Let me fill that just about as full as it'll go. In fact, it wouldn't close if it was that full. I'll take a couple off and get it to where it would just close. Yeah, see, that's not even, that's still fuller than it was with the, um, with the number, the number sixes in it. And I bet you that that will not wind up being seven sixteenths of an ounce. Here, let's use this one since it's em basically empty. <laughs> okay. Tear that. And then we'll dump in the full load of this larger pellet that I believe to be BB. Oh, look! <laughs> Seven eighths of an ounce. Um, you see what I'm saying? Larger pellets mean larger spaces between the pellets. It's simple physics. Smaller pellets, you can fit a heavier weight load in the same amount of space. So that's why, probably why. I mean, that's a 7 eighths ounce, 20 gauge, 3 inch Gwilandi wad. And, uh, they list it at 7 eighths, but when you get down to number 6 pellets, to fill the cup so the crimp isn't punching back, reverse down inside, you actually have to put in 15 sixteenths. Uh, that's good. I like 15 sixteenths of an ounce. I'm very happy.